قراءتكم الان بدا التسجيل طلابنا in this lesson in today's lesson we are going to be studying tackling dealing with two parts of an introductory paragraph we have an introductory paragraph as the first part of the essay in general as we said earlier the essay has a three parts the first part is called introductory paragraph the second part the body paragraphs whether they are three body paragraphs or, or two or at least one body paragraph and finally we have what we have a concluding paragraph similar to a the structure of the paragraph the structure of the paragraph independent the independent paragraph uh, aside from uh, the essay when we write a paragraph in in, in what in an independent um, or independently the كتبنا paragraph راح uh, يكون يعني the paragraph is also composed of three parts the topic sentence supporting sentences and the concluding sentence طبعا supporting sentences the length of the supporting sentences the quality of the supporting sentences how many supporting sentences we are able to write depends on our knowledge of the topic our ideas our uh, thinking our uh, sophistication uh, our sophisticated thinking and the evidence we have to to support our uh, uh, main idea stated in the top sentence the same applies with the essay نفس الشيء يطبق وين بالاسي لكن هنا تتحول مسألة writing sentences into writing paragraphs إلى الآن المسألة واضحة مو طلاب ماكو مشكلة اوكي ممتاز الان ناتي الى analyzing the parts of the essay one by one يعني part by part and we start with the introductory paragraph راح نبدا بال introductory paragraph حتى عندما نرجع للمقاله اللي هي on page 75 يعني قبل هذا الموضوع راح نحلل ان شاء الله بالمحاضره المقبله ليوم الاربعاء راح نحلل الاسي وسبيسيفيكلي راح نحلل the first part of the essay the introductory paragraph of the uh, model essay the writing model mentioned uh, on page 75 so you have to read the essay you have to understand it you have to uh, um, yes analyze it according to what we are going to say and explain in this lesson يعني مطلوب من عندكم انه تقرؤون الاسي وتركزوا لي تفهمون الاسي بشكل عام و how does the essay uh, uh, how does the essay structure or how is it um, structured composed and related to each other as a one block ان شاء الله اليوم uh, راح نشرح uh, in more details something related to the structure and the construct of the introductory paragraph راح راح نتناول فقط الانترودكتوري باراجراف ما راح نعبر على البادي باراجراف في هذه المحاضره كذلك المحاضره المقبله راح نركز فقط على الانترودكتوري باراجراف ليش لانه ما زال عندنا الحمد لله ما زال عندنا وقت مو مثل العام العام اخذنا فقط وان كورس فما لحقنا ناخذ كثير من الامور زين ولو هذا قد يكون مو مو بصالحكم يعني <تصفيق> لكن يعني علميا لصالحكم ان شاء الله ما راح اثقل عليكم لكن اشرح لكم بشكل افضل لانه وقت عندنا فناخذ اكزامبلز خليكم تقرون تحللون كذلك انا اشرح بطريقه افضل لان عندي وقت وعدد الطلاب يعني وان كان اكثر لكن يسمح لي الوقت ان اشرح بتفصيل اكثر اوكي ويمكن ان تشاهدون المحاضرات السابقه اذا واحد عنده انترست يشاهد المحاضرات مال السنه الماضيه يعني في الاسي كانت تقريبا تقريبا 43 محاضره يعني على الويب سايت موجوده على الويب سايت مال القسم تقدر تراجع بعض الامور ما فهمتها الان تسالني 
راح انشرها ان شاء الله على الويب سايت هاي المحاضره مالتكم ما يعني يعني انت عندك مو انترست مثلا تقدر تشوف المحاضره مال العام الماضي يعني بيها شيء جديد نفس الشيء هاي افضل ذيك افضل يعني الى اخره فنبدا ان شاء الله بدرسنا لهذا اليوم um, we are going to explain two types of introductory paragraph يعني بنقول two types of introductory paragraph يعني two common academic types two common academic types يعني هذه ال ال النوع هذين النوعين او هذان النوعان اذا نريد نستخدمها أه بشكل مبتدا وخبر أه طبعا مو هم ال ال الوحيد الوحيد ال 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 الوحيدين اللي موجودات وين بكتابه الاسي لا يعني اكو امور اخرى تتعلق ب اكو قد كتب اخرى تنطيك تسميات اخرى لكن هذا هو المشهور وهذا هو ال 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 common types of introductory paragraph يعني انا من اجي اجي اقول لك اكتب introductory paragraph او اكتب essay او اقرا essay اي essay انت تقراها بالكتاب تقدر تصنفها within which type of these two specific types هل هي funnel introduction مثل ما تشوف هنا أنا. funnel introduction او attention getting introduction زين شنو الفرق بين these two types of introductory paragraph؟ اثنيناتهم introductory paragraph. Both of them are introductory paragraph used and written at the very beginning of the essay. Both have general statements and what? And thesis statement. So what are the differences between them? Okay, so this is what, this is the question. How to write them? How to understand them? How to structure and construct them? What are the differences or what is the difference between writing a final introduction and an attention getting introduction? الفرق جدا بسيط. الفرق جدا بسيط. وهو from the uh, from the figure in front of you, this figure is called what? This figure is called funnel. This figure, as you see uh, on this shared document, this figure is what? It's called funnel. This is the funnel. Okay? What is a funnel in Arabic? In Arabic, it is al qim. 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 Al يعني مثلا we have a bottle and we have to pour in it uh, we have to fill it uh, with water to fill it with uh, gasoline with um, any liquid okay we can't pour from something wide يعني إذا عندك أنت مثلا uh, فد um, يعني bucket عندك سطل مثلا okay وتريد تفرغ من هذا السطل إلى مثلا عندنا uh, فد uh, فد gallon فد uh, عندنا يعني بطل نقدر نسميه بطل ان جنرال لانه البطل الاوبننج مالته تكون نارو فشلون نفرغ من مكان يعني ننتقل من مكان واسع الى مكان ضيق من مكان واسع الى مكان ضيق هذا نستخدم القمع نستخدم الفانل زين هذا يشبه من اذا واحد يقول لي يعني يشبه يا شكل هندسي مخروط بعد هو المخروط لا شكل هندسي اخر يعني يبدا يعني نقدر حتى لو انقلبه ويصير يشبه الفانل مثلث احسنت احسنت مثلث بالضبط اذا نقدر نقدر يعني نرمز نرمز للفانل انتروداكشن بالمثلث المقلوب ذا ابسايد داون تريانجل نفس الـ نفس الـ principle شنو الغاية من عنده هذا؟ يعني هذا الشكل حتى تتذكره دائما والـ funnel introduction يعني يقولون هذه الـ introductory paragraph is representing resembling the funnel introduction or representing the funnel okay ليش؟ because it starts with 
a general statement general background about the topic يعني عندنا هنا topic اقول لك اكتب عن الموضوع الفلاني اول ما تبدا مو تبدا سبيسيفيكلي يعني يعني الطلاب ما يعرف بنيه المقاله يبدا سبيسيفيكلي يعني يبدا من الفكره الرئيسيه لا انت تفاجئ القارئ بهذه الطريقه you should start with right you should start yes your writing with a general background about the topic you have to introduce your topic in general statements حتى شنو؟ حتى تنطيه مجال يدخل للموضوع. يعني انت راسا تفاجئ بالمعلومه راسا. لا يجب ان نبدا ب a general background about the topic and then we explain the general topic by specifying specifying it step by step narrowing it down until narrowing it down step by step until we reach our thesis statement okay so we start from the general look at this and narrow down our ideas step by step until we reach the the most specific idea the most specific point about our topic طبعا هذا كله يتكلم عن التوبيك توبيك اللي هو subject you are writing about تتكلم عن for example uh, تتكلم عن ال, ال, ال vaccination عندك فكرة عامة بعدين شوي شوي تشرح عن الموضوع بشكل يقرب هذه الفكرة العامة وتحددها تسوي لها narrowing down إلى أن تصل إلى your main point your claim, your position, your viewpoint, your opinion about the topic, vaccination, for example. تتكلم عن, for example, um, the, uh, for example, um, how to learn, or uh, the, uh, for example, what are the best ways of learning a, a language or an English language? What are the best ways? First of all, you start with your general statements, then narrowing it down until you, inshallah, we are going to what? We are going to see some samples, okay? We are going to read and see some samples, and also we have a good model uh, essay on page 75. But for today's lesson, we have four samples of paragraphs, of introductory paragraphs. We are going to read them and decide whether they are funnel introductions or attention-getting introductions. So what is meant by funnel? Funnel introduction, this introductory paragraph starts with general statements and ends up uh, with a specific thesis statement, like the triangle upside down, okay? Starts with something general, ends with something specific زين الى الان اكو واحد عنده سؤال طلاب مفهومه الان اه اوكي عندنا نوع ثاني another type of uh, an introductory paragraph which is called attention getting introduction attention getting it means what? It means it tries to what? It, 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 it aims to, to get the attention of the reader. Attention getting to get your attention as a reader. If you are a writer, you have to write um, following this model, attention getting introduction. If you want to write attention getting introduction, you have to, what? You have to start by telling your readers either Telling them a dramatic or funny story. Look at this underlined. You are telling or you are starting with telling a dramatic story, funny story, to get the attention of the reader, to involve the readers into your essay, your introductory paragraph, to involve them, to involve them, to make them interested. To capture their attention. Okay? Either by 
introducing a dramatic or telling them a dramatic uh, or funny story or using surprising facts. Tabdeh bi ikhbar your readers with surprising facts. Something they don't accept, uh, something they don't expect, sorry. Something they don't expect to see or to read. Okay? The, because they know something different. Okay? So you are telling, with, uh, you are telling them something surprising. Surprising facts or surprising statistics. And دائما لغة ال 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 الحقائق يعني هذه اللغة عندما تأتي إلى مسألة معينة وتريد to grab your your readers' attention, your listeners' attention. بعض الأحيان مثل ما تشاهدون بال بالأخبار مثلا أو بالتقارير يبدأ بالمعلومة اللي هي surprising. حتى شنو حتى يعني get you involved get you captured into his her uh, report um, for example um, texts whatever uh, news etc essay فيبدا ب surprising facts or statistics يعني خبر رأسا يعني الخبر خاصة اللي انتشر قبل يومين مثلا الله يكفينا الشر وان شاء الله يعافى جميع الـ 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 الناس اللي المساكين اللي تسمموا ب لاسباب غير معروفه فالخبر يعني الخبر اللي شاع انه مثلا سبب تسممهم كان كذا وكذا مثلا وصل العدد الى 500 شخص متسمم من زين شلون من مكان واحد يعني قصدي السورس او السبب مثلا السبب فشي جدا بسيط مثل ما نشروه لكن مثلا وصلوا الى 500 من from different places يعني واحد لازم ينقل المعلومه اولا ينقلها بدقه لكن هكذا خبر وينطيك فد statistics 500 شخص تسمموا بسبب اكلهم لكذا وكذا او 500 شخص تسمموا للسبب الكذائي زين 500 شخص كلهم معقوله كلهم من مكان واحد لازم نبحث بعدين من خلال النص والاخبار لازم نبحث هؤلاء ال 500 نفر هل هم في مكان واحد يعني يعني فروم ديفرنت بليسز اريد اعرف انا لكن هو شنو هو هو حقق الغرض مالته هذا اللي نشر الخبر او اللي كتب المقاله او يعني احنا يعني بعيدا عن هذا المثال اي مثال اخر مثلا مثلا في المنطقه الكذائيه مثلا يعني صارت الحادثه مثلا حادثه معينه وبالحادثه مثلا تلقى 100 نفر لماذا يعني 100 نفر عدد هائل فكستاتستكس هو شنو جرابس يور تنشن جرابس يور تنشن كابتشرز يور تنشن تريد تعرف انت من سمعت هذا الخبر تريد تعرف تفاصيله فهذه الطريقه شنو هذه الطريقه هي كابتشرينج كابتشرينج ذا ريدرز اتنشن او ذا ليسنرز اتنشن اذا كانت هي سبوكن من خلال يوزنج سبرايزنج فاكتس او مثلا التقارير اللي تطلع بالتلفزيون مثلا يطلعون تقرير عن فد منطقه في جبال ما اعرف وين بيا بدوله مثلا ها يعني كل رجالات ونساء المنطقه يعمرون اكثر من 150 سنه مثلا افتراضا يعني انا اجى في بالي فد تقرير لماذا انت تقول راسا تسال يعني they grabs your attention with with such an introduction by what by giving you surprising facts and statistics انطاك statistics وانطاك قال لك يعني يعيشون بهذه المنطقه او عدد سكان هذه المنطقه نفرض مثلا 2000 فد فيلج بسيطه 2000 لكن هذول ال 2000 كلهم يعمرون فوق ال 150 او فوق ال 110 او فوق ال 100 وات يعني فانت هذه المقدمه تدعوك للشنو؟ تدعوك لقراءه او مشاهده التقرير او قراءه التقرير او قراءه المقاله هذا نوع من شنو؟ هذا نوع من انواع 
ال 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 introductory paragraphs to capture the attention of the uh, uh, of the reader. بدل ما يبدأ بمعلومة general بعدين يشرحها بعدين يوصل إلى الرأي لا أكو نوعية أخرى هو أما telling you a funny story okay or dramatic story for the story جدا غريبة or surprising facts or offering historical background ينطيك فد historical background ويجذبك من خلال telling you some historical backgrounds some historical events إلى أن يصل إلى الفكرة الرئيسية شوف هسه صار واضح الفنل starts with general statements وبعدين يصل إلى الفكرة الرئيسية في كل الأحوال سواء كانت فنل introduction أو attention getting introduction بالنتيجة at the end of the introductory paragraph the writer reaches uh, uh, the thesis statement, the main idea. He wants to explain, defend, support, advocate, back, boost in the body paragraphs. إلى الآن أكو سؤال؟ طلاب؟ ماكو إشكال، أوكي شكرا. آه، ماكو سؤال ممتاز الآن أريدك إذا عندك الهارد كوبي اللي هي يعني الفيزيكال بوك الهارد كوبي هذا الكتاب يعني أوكي فراح نقرأ these paragraphs four paragraphs يعني I'll ask you to read these paragraphs طبعا القراءة عامل أساسي في درسنا يعني أنا أختبركم في القراءة وكل درس أحاول أقريكم جملة جملتين باراجراف اتسترا اساي اوكي فاللي اللي أمام الكتاب أو اللي uh, عنده واضح ال ال بي دي اف اللي شيرد دوكيمنت إذا عندك واضح خلي شويين اوكي فاريد الطلاب اللي يقرون يرفعون ايدهم حتى انا اختار من الطلاب واريد مشاركه كثيره انتم عددكم الان 67 طالب اريد مشاركه لين راح اسجل اسماءكم وهاي الاسماء بعدين بالسعي راح كل واحد يشوف مثلا طبيعه قراءته انا اسجل ملاحظات يمه قراءته الكواليتي مال يعني قراءتك اسجلها مثلا كم مره شاركت هل انت من المشاركين لا واللي ما يريد يشارك بعد هو حر ما تسجل لدرجه نبدا بمحمد عبد الامير واقرا لي باراجراف نمبر 1 ها قبل ان تقرا محمد وبقيه الطلاب اثناء قراءتكم اثناء قراءتكم here we have what we have four paragraphs four um, samples of introductory paragraph وانت تقرا اريدك تحلل وصاحبك يقرا اريدك انت تحلل هل هذا الانتروداكتوري باراجراف هل هو من النوع الاول ام من النوع الثاني هل هو فانل انتروداكشن او اتنشن جيتنج انتروداكشن واذا كان فانل انتروداكشن واي وات از ذا ريزن ذات يو ديسايد ذا ذيس انتروداكتوري باراجراف او ذات از ا فانل انتروداكشن او اذا انت قلت يا اتنشن جيتنج انتروداكشن كذلك اريدك تذكر لي السبب محمد عبد الامير نعم دكتور يس بليز اوكي وان داي ا فيو مايلز اوف ذا ساوثيريان كوست اوف ايسلاند ذا كرو اوف فيشينج بوت نوتس سموك اون ذا هورايزن ثينكينج ذات انذر فيشينج بوت واز اون فاير دي وونت تو انفستيجيت وين داي جت كلوزر داي ديسكفر ذات ذا سموك واز نوت فروم ا بوت اون فاير Rather, it was from uh, an undersea volcano about to erupt. Then Thank you very much, Mohammed. Thank you. Okay. That's enough. Thank you. Um, Abbas Abdelbari. Naam, Doctor. Yes, please. Go ahead. Continue. From uh, an undersea uh, 
the next day the next day sorry from the next day start from here look at uh, my the, uh, the cursor the, yeah. next day, the next day ash uh, cinders and uh, uh, Pam uh, were blown 1,000 feet into the air. The fishermen had witnessed uh, a rare event, the violent birth of an island. The volcano continued to the erupt for about uh, four years, eventually creating an island about one square mile in area and 560 feet in high. Uh, the birth of Surtsey, as the island is named, offered scientists an extraordinary opportunity to learn how life takes hold on the sterile landmass. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Zainab Said, again, read paragraph yes. number one. Yes, number one. Yes. One day, a few males of the southern coast of Iceland, they grow a fishing boat, not smoke, on the horizon. Thinking that another fishing boat uh, was a fire, they want to investigate. When they got closer, they discovered that the smoke was not from a boat on fire. Rather, it was from an undersea, undersea uh, volcano about the Thank you very much, Zainab. Thank, thank you very much. Yes. Um, Nawar or Nawar? Yes? Yeah, okay. Yes, please go ahead. Uh, continue. Uh, the next day, ash, cinders, and pumice were blown 1,000 feet into the air. The fishermen had witnessed a rare event, the violent birth of an island. The volcano continued to erupt for about four years, eventually creating an island about one square mile in area and 560 feet in height. The birth of Surtsey, as the island is named, offered scientists an extraordinary opportunity to learn how life takes hold on a sterile landmass. Excellent. Good. Good, Noah. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to read it. Please listen to this and then or we are going to move to other samples. وأريد طلاب أكثر بعد يعني مو فقط اللي يشاركون اللي شاركوا هسه أريد طلاب آخرين يشاركون راح أقرأ لكم الباراجراف نمبر 1 حتى ننتقل إلى باراجراف نمبر 2. One day, a few miles off the southern coast of Iceland, the crew of a fishing boat noticed smoke on the horizon. Okay? Thinking that another fishing boat was on, on fire, they went to investigate. Look, investigate is a verb. Investigation is a noun. When they got closer, they discovered that the smoke was not from a boat on fire. Rather, it was from an undersea volcano about to erupt. The next day, ash cinders and pumice were blown 1,000 feet into the air. The fishermen had witnessed a rare event, the violent birth of an island. The volcano continued to erupt for about four years, eventually creating an island about one square mile in area and 560 feet in height. The birth of Third Sea, Third Sea, as the island is named, offered scientists an extraordinary opportunity to learn how life takes hold on a sterile landmass. Okay, we move now to uh, to paragraph number two. Okay, yes, who would like to read paragraph number two? أريد أسماء يعني ما قرأت أوكي مثلا شيماء جواد ممتاز حتى كل واحد يأخذ حصته من الوقت والقراءة والparticipation شيماء yes yes please moving a new moving a new country can be an exciting 
even exploring experiments in a new environment, you somehow feel more alive. Seeing a new sight, eating a new food, hearing the foreign sounds of a new language, and feeling different is your experience your senses as a, as ever before. So over this century, we become Okay, thank you very much, Shema. Uh, I couldn't hear you because of the uh, bad quality of the internet. Thank you very much, Shema. Thank you. Khalid uh, Walid. No, I'm still. Start from here, Khalid. Soon, however. Soon, however, the sensory bombardment uh, becomes sensory overload. Suddenly, new experiences seem stressful rather than steam lighting and the light turns into discomfort this is the phononeme uh, known as culture shock culture shock is more than uh, jet lag or uh, homes home skin uh, and it affects nearly everyone who enters a new culture tourist business delivers development and uh, students are like a thought. Uh, not everyone experiences culture shock and exactly the same way. Many experts agree uh, that it has roughly five states. Okay, thank you very much, Khalid. Uh, who else? Ghadir Salim. Yes, please. Mo moving to a new contrary can be an exciting even uh, even exciting exciting experience in a new environment you somehow feel more alive seeing a new sights eat, uh, eating a new food hearing the foreign sounds of a new language and feeling a different climate against your skin uh, time uh, milk your uh, your sins as uh, never before so however this uh, sensory uh, bom uh, bomb treatment because the uh, sensory overload thank you very much <clears throat> okay uh, safa muhammad naam doctor yes please Continue, please. Yes. Suddenly, new experiences seem uh, stressful uh, rather than stimulating and delight trust into discover, uh, discomfort. Com uh, discomfort. This is the uh, phenomenon known as culture shock. Culture shock is more than jet lag of uh, home, homesickness and is affect nearly everyone. He is in charge of a new culture, tourist, business, travels, diplom diplomat, and uh, students alike. Also, not everyone experiences culture shock in exactly that the same way. And many experts uh, agree, agree that it has roughly five stage, stages. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Safa. Uh, I'm going to read it. And other students, prepare yourselves for reading uh, paragraphs three and four. Moving to a new country can be an exciting, even exhilarating experience. In a new environment, you somehow feel more alive, seeing new sights, eating new food, hearing the foreign sounds of a new language, and feeling different climate against your skin stimulate your senses as never before soon however the sensory bombardment becomes sensory overload suddenly new experiences seem stressful rather than stimulating and delight turns into discomfort this is the phenomenon known as culture shock culture shock is more than jet lag or homesickness and it affects nearly everyone who enters a new culture. Tourists, business travelers, diplomats, and students alike. 
Although not everyone experiences culture shock in exactly the same way, many experts agree that it has roughly five stages. Okay. Sorry. Now, paragraph number three. Who will read paragraph number three? عباس عبد الباري مساقرة لابس اقرأنا هالمرة لابس وبقية الطلاب راح اسألكم ورا عباس نعم The pilgrims who arrived in Maskistus in 1620 came to find religious freedom in the 17th and 18th centuries large numbers of African men and women were brought as slaves uh, to work on large plantations in the south. A immigrant from northern and southern Europe came in the early 19th century to escape poor economic conditions at home. Later in the, in the 19th century, the first immigrants from China came as contract laborers to build the real roads connecting east and West in the 20th century. Political. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Abbas. Thank you very much. Shada uh, Abbas. Yes, Shada. Okay, Shada and Sahbet Idhe. Hello, Badi. Okay. Okay. Later in the from here. Okay. Okay, no worries. Uh, Jinan Muhammad. Yes, please. Later in the nineteenth century. لا لا شذا خليش خلي تقرأ جنان وبعدين خليش تقرين غير وقت نعم. Later in the 19th century, the first immigrant from China came as a contract laborer to build the railroad connecting east and west. In the 20th century, political and economic refugees arrived from Asia, Eastern Europe, and Latin America. Indeed, the United States has seen immigrants come from many different parts of the world and they have come from many different reasons. Their ability to, their ability to adjust to, to life in their adopted lands had depends on several factors. Okay, thank you very much. Um, um, Shada, mumkin taqreer min al-bidaya? Wa ba'diyan nabak. Shada? اوكي شذا ظاهر عندنا مشكلة نبا محمد قرينا من البداية نحو التاب تقرب الشاشة نعم The Bill Grimes who arrived in Massachusetts in 1620 come to find religious freedom in the 17th and the 18th centuries, large numbers of African men and women were brought as slaves to work on large plant, plantation, plantation in a south, uh, emergence of, from North. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nabe. Well, Ahmed Basim, continue, please. Doctor. Yes, Immigrant, please. Yes, immigrants from northern and southern Europe came in the early 19th century to escape poor economic conditions at home. Later in the 19th century, the first immigrants from China came as contract laborers to build the railroads connect, connecting east and west. In the, mm. ninth, in the 20th century, political and economic refugees 
arrived from Asia, Eastern Europe, and Latin America. Indeed, mm. the United okay. States has seen immigrants come from many different parts of the world, and they have come for many different reasons. They, their ability to adjust to life in their adopted land has depended on several factors. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ahmed. Uh, من يقرأ طلاب Okay let me read paragraph number 3 The pilgrims who arrived in Massachusetts in 1620 came to find religious freedom In the 17th and 18th centuries large numbers of African men and women were brought as slaves to work on large plantations in the south Immigrants from Northern and Southern Europe came in the early 19th century to escape poor economic conditions at home. Later in the 19th century, the first immigrants from China came as contract laborers to build the railroads connecting East and West. In the 20th century, political and economic, economic or we can say economic or economic, both are correct. Political and economic refugees arrived from Asia, Eastern Europe, and Latin America. Indeed, the United States has seen immigrants come from many different parts of the world. And they have come for many different reasons. Their ability to adjust to life in their adopted land has depended on several factors. Paragraph number four. We will read paragraph number four. Ahmed Muhammad Yunus. No. Yes, please. Yes. God, high blood pressure. Try, try a truffle. A truffle, yeah. A truffle, truffle yeah. yes. Worried about her disease. Buy a bone, bone. It's the best news in the year. Studies into Portuguese. Rustig, Rustigus, scientific journalist, says dark chocolate is good for you. It seems that heart disease, eating a small piece of dark chocolate regularly can reduce the risk of heart disease because dark oh, chocolate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Who else? Okay. Let me see. Here we have Sarah Razak. No, yes, please. Contenza, uh, because dark chocolate, but not milk chocolate or white chocolate, contains high amounts of flavors. Powerful chocolate. Sarah, should we have a chistol? A cushy, a chistol, Sarah? Last time, a cushy. Okay, let's see. Then, can a sort did the noisy? Well, I'll cry on. Because dark chocolate, but not milk chocolate. Okay. Or white chocolate contains high amounts of flavors, uh, flavors, powerful cholesterol, biting compounds. What is their next health food going to be? Ice cream, sugar cookies. There are so many conflicting news stories about which foods are good for you that it is often difficult to make the right choices at the supermarket. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Noor Sabah. Yes, please. Got hate blood pressure, try trouble, uh, worried about heart, disease. By bonbon, it is uh, the best news in Europe. The studies in two, in two breast breast study. Journalists uh, say uh, dark chocolate is good for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Th thank you very much, Noor. Uh, May soon. May soon. Adnan. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. From it seems from here. It seems. It seems that a 
that eating a small pieces of that chocolate regularly can reduce the, the risk of the heart disease because dark chocolate, but no milk chocolate or white chocolate or, wh or white chocolate continue, contains high amounts of the fabulous Vladimir's powerful chocolate. Pricey com compounds what is Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Jumana? Yes, Victor. Yes, please. Yes, please. What is the next health food going to be? Ice creams, sugar cookies. There are so many conflict, conflicting chocolate. news stories no, no, about, or white. about which foods from, are good for you. That La, uh, may soon, may soon, may soon, please. May soon. Uh, ma, ma يعني قلت لك ثانك يو فيري ماتش اوكي ممتاز ذاتس انف ميسون اريد جمانه تقرا مره اخرى يس وات از ذا نيكست هيلث فود جوينج تو بي ايس كريم شوجر كوكيز ذير ار سو ماني كونفليكتينج نيو ستوريز اباوت ويش فودز ار جود فور يو ذات ات از اوفن ديفيكالت تو ميك ذا رايت تشويسز ار ات ذا سوبر ماركت Okay, thank you very much. Listen to me while reading this pa final paragraph, and then I'll ask you which type of uh, um, which type of introductory paragraph each one of them. Okay, got high blood pressure? It's a rhetorical question. Got high blood pressure? Try TOEFL. Worried about heart disease? Buy a bonbon. It's the best news in years. Uh, either we, we say news or news. Okay, both are correct. It's the best news in years. Exclamation point. Yani we should read it differently. Studies in two prestigious scientific journals say dark chocolate is good for you. It seems that eating a small piece of dark chocolate regularly can reduce the risk of heart disease because dark chocolate, but not milk chocolate or white chocolate, contains high amounts of flavonoids. Shouldn't the flavonoids Powerful cholesterol fighting compounds. What is the next health food going to be? Ice cream, sugar cookies. There are so many conflicting news stories about which foods are good for, for you that it is often difficult to make the right choices at the supermarket so here we have read four sample paragraphs four sample introductory paragraphs now can you tell me what type of paragraphs are they for example paragraph number one Raise your hand and answer me. And I want you to tell me the reason why you consider this as funnel or as getting attention. Yes, Zainab Saeed, what do you say? Um, I think it is attention. Uh, uh, when you were thinking that another that uh, think what uh, was on fire. Story again. What, what is the reason? Why do you think this is a, a t yes, attention getting a paragraph? Yes. yes? Uh, be because uh, thinking that another fishing pot was on fire. Because and then the is small. So what is then? So what, Yani? Uh, uh, because uh, the smoke is was attention. For anyone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Getting attention. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Good. But you didn't tell me what type of introductory. Oh, sorry. What type? Uh, what subtype of attention getting? Uh, Nawar, what do you say? Uh, yes, doctor. I think also it's an attention getting introduction because it uh, starts with a story. It's like talking about a particular event. Okay. Okay, so you think that it starts um, by telling us a story. Okay, okay. 
Uh, Abbas Abdul Bari, what do you say? It's attention getting and uh, introduction, introduction, sorry. Yes. Because it's uh, about story and uh, it's, uh, it's make uh, the reader uh, so exciting. And uh, it's like uh, from this, uh, the contains and the uh, attention getting the uh, introduction, like dramatic stories, surprising fact, and historical. No, no, this specifically, I want you to answer me specifically what type it's uh, attention getting. So, why attention getting? Because it tells us. Yes? It tells us a, a story, like a story. Oh, okay. It uh, tells us a story. What do you say, uh, Muhammad Abdul Amir? Uh, like my friend said before me. Uh, okay. Because uh, we have here, uh, I think they are telling us a dramatic story. Dramatic story. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. What, what, about, what about other students? What about uh, introductory paragraph number two? What kind of paragraph is this? Shayma Jawad. I think it is a, a funeral introduction because it doesn't introduce the paragraph with the short story or historical background. Okay, so it starts it with what? It starts with the general uh, um, introduction. Okay, general introduction. Can you explain more? Uh, Naba Muhammad, what do you say? Any other student can explain this Amjad Ali, Mathalan? Although not everyone experiences cultural joke and exactly in the same way. Yes, and then. Funnel. So, it's funnel. It's funnel, why? Uh, many uh, experts uh, agree, uh, agree that it has a role. Five is okay, uh, Amjad Ali, uh, the reason is, for example, you can say that it is a funnel introductory paragraph because it starts with introducing general a general statement about the topic and then it narrows it down until the writer reaches his or her uh, most specific idea or opinion or a claim about the topic so there's no story there is no historical events there's no surprising facts it starts explaining something and narrowing it down until it's like what it's like the funnel it's like the funnel it's like the upside down um, triangle upside down okay starts with general information and ends with very specific okay um, what about paragraph number three Um, paragraph number three, um, yes, Adila. No, I'm stuck. No. Uh, attention getting the introduction. Attention uh, getting introduction, uh, yes. Yes, uh, uh, offering historical background. Okay, offering historical backgrounds. Okay, so uh, what about the thesis statement in all of these introductory paragraphs? What about the thesis statement? Who can tell me what about the thesis statement? Do they have thesis statements? Muhammad Abdul Amir? Yes? All the paragraphs, four paragraphs, all the paragraphs. Do they have uh, thesis statements? Where are they? In the beginning of the paragraph? At the beginning of the paragraph? The thesis statement we said that 
should be at the end of the paragraph, Muhammad. At the end of the paragraph, the last sentence of the paragraph. طبعا, this is not a condition. This is not uh, necessarily um, the rule. But, academically speaking, we make it easier to make this statement always written at the end of the introductory paragraph. حتى نسهل المسألة. وهو الأفضل. يعني moving from your general statements, general ideas, moving from your story, moving from telling, um, for example, historical events, until we finally, at the, at, the, يعني, at the end of the introductory paragraph, we mention our main idea to be connected directly to the body paragraphs. Okay? So, the, يعني, these four uh, introductory paragraphs all have, uh, inter yes, uh, thesis statements. And this uh, paragraph number three, it's also attention, uh, yes, attention getting introductory. It tells us a, or it starts with historical events. Hussein Abdul Abbas, what do you want to say, Hussein, about paragraph number four? Yes. Hussein Abdul Abbas, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. يلا مشكلة هو بقى فقط الترجمة نمبر فور وخلي المهم تحضيركم ما زال تحضيركم للمحاضرة المقبلة تبول شوية أولا قراءة الأسي ثانيا فهم الأسي بشكل متكامل تحليلها وتركزوا لي على الانترودكتوري باراجراف اوف ذا اسي اون بيج 75 وات تايب اوف انترودكتوري باراجراف يعني هذا الباراجراف اللي موجود بالاسي وات تايب اوف انترودكتوري باراجراف وبعدها يعني تحضروا لي وتقروا لي بشكل جيد حتى اختبر قراءتكم من الصفحه 82 الى صفحه 85 هذه هنا اكو اكسرسايزز اباوت uh, Thesis, thesis sentences or thesis statements حتى نشرح thesis sentence with types or the structure of the thesis sentence ضروري تقروا لي هذا التحضير أوكي حتى المحاضرة تكون أسهل من المحاضرة اللي ما بها الطلاب يحضرون ممتاز لأنه تحضيركم راح يسهل الفهم عليكم راح يسهل الشرح علي وممكن يكون عندكم أسئلة وأجاوبها إلى آخره فشعبة ألف بعد مثل ما بلغنا تصير محاضرة محاضرتكم يوم الأربعاء ويا بقية الشعاب والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين في أمان الله أرجو منكم المغادرة بشكل سريع يا أهلا وسهلا يا أهلا يا أهلا ولكم موست ولكم مغادرة بشكل سريع حتى التسجيل يتم بالشكل الصحيح أو أنا أسوي لكم مغادرة أوكي طلاب أرجو المغادرة شروق أحمد موجودة خلي أنا أسوي أوكي سوي مغادرة لأن أنا جاي أسوي لك مغادرة ممتاز جيد وعندنا نور ادهم دكتور موجود اوكي سوي مغادر <تصفيق> وقلت لكم سوي مغادر على السريع اوكي وبقى عندنا حسين عقيل اوكي 